Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be basically be playing a video inside a 3D environment using React 3 Fiber. As you can see, the demo of the video where we have a line, basically the video of the line uh, inside a plane, and that has it basically shows on the both sides. And this is what we'll be building by the end of this video. Uh, let me just show you the project which I've already went and set it up. So it is a basic project using Wheat and I've already went ahead and installed a couple of dependencies like React 3J, React 3 Fiber, 3JS as well as for the types for 3JS like how we normally do for any kind of React 3 Fiber project. Then what I've done is I also have went ahead and created a simple component ground. I've just literally copy pasted it from one of the sandboxes which I've opened already. As you can see this sandbox. So I took this reference and tried to make it more simple, uh, simplified in one way for this video. So in one way, after watching this video, if you would like to have more advanced use case, like showing different videos on the click of a leave up button, basically, you can basically show different videos based on that. And you can also uh, display the media also. Let me refresh it. Whatever, basically my face can be seen inside the right screen. So this is more advanced use case. So after watching this video, it will become hopefully more clear. But anyways, I'll be using the use video texture hook from React 3J. And here also the uh, from here the I had access the code sandbox. So, anyways, now we can go ahead and run the project and see. Let me close this. Copy paste. And yeah. I think I accidentally have a reference somewhere. So anyway, we have to create this uh, experience. Let me create it now itself. This is gonna be experience dot JSX. I'll be not I'll not be using TypeScript for this project. Here let me create a canvas. And for now, just let me create a plane. Again, I've installed the React Ray, so the plane is coming from React Ray. And let me come back here. Just having some issues. Let me remove this. Yeah, as you can see, we have the sphere. Oh, sorry, plane. And let me do one thing. Let me add the orbit controls. As you can see, we can see the plane. So what I'll do is like I'll add the ground also. It's a very basic uh, component uh, where we are using the grid and we are configuring some of the basic things. You can customize it based on your needs. I'll just copy paste it. So now we should have the ground. As you can see, we have the ground. For orbit controls, let me do one thing. I think, let me give it max. I think it was a similar angle, I guess. I'll see it now. Matt. Pi by two. So let me refresh it again. So you can't, okay, not that, I guess. It should be polar angle, I guess, then. Refresh. Yeah, this is the polar angle. And you can change the position for the camera also. Camera equal to position, I'll give it X I don't want, Y I'll give one. Z, I'll give three and see how it looks. Refresh. This looks somewhat better. Now, what I'll do for the uh, plane is like I'll just give the plane, an, uh, I'll just put in a y axis somewhat. Hopefully, it's not too up. Okay, it's too up. One is also too up. Let me give it zero, I guess. 
zero point five. Yeah, this looks better. So now we have the plane here, and let me give it double side. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me first of all create the video material only. This is gonna take the source as the prop, and it's gonna call use video texture. This needs the source. Texture is gonna be use video texture, and let me use mesh standard material. Let me return that. So we have to give the map as texture, and there is some issue with the source. I guess let me see. Disable for this line. Map texture map is not found. I'm not exactly sure why it's showing the issue, but I'll just disable unknown property. And let us now see what happens. So plane is gonna have video material. And I've already added a video inside the public directory so I can use that. Let us see if something is coming up or not. Oh, uh, by the way, I have to give an environment also. I forgot. So let me give the environment. Preset, I'll give it. Lobby, I guess. Now let's see if something comes. As you can see, we are getting the line now. And we are not able to see the backside of it. To fix that, let me come back here to the material. Now I have to come here to give side go to double side from 3JS. This should fix it, and you might see the values. Uh, you can use the tone mapping also. I don't want to go too much in depth here, but you can change the tone mapping. You can give it false, and again, I'm getting the tissue. Let me fix it. I'll fix it for the whole file. So now we have the line video. But as you might have noticed, whenever we refresh the model, uh, refresh the screen, it's black for some time. So it will be better to have some placeholders. So we can have the placeholder using suspense. I'll give a fallback of mesh standard material wireframe equal to true and let me refresh it very fast as you might notice there sometimes uh, the line comes up yeah so yes and i'm not sure again what's the issue anyway i think this is working fine so this was a very simplified uh, or you can simple use case of showing a video but you can check this code sandbox it has a very much detailed uh, video oh, sorry the code and hopefully after watching this video it will become more clear or easier for you to understand this code Anyways, that was the motivation for making this video and hope to see another videos as well and bye.